The Weekly Standard, Steve Hayes joins us. Steve, nice to see you. Um, any it. information about uh, Catherine Russell, the wife? Yeah, there's quite a bit of information about Catherine Russell. Uh, officials learned in the pre-Miranda interrogation of Jahar Sanayev that uh, the, the wife, Catherine Russell, had called Tamerlan Sarnayev once she saw the FBI release photos and videos on television of her husband and her brother-in-law dropping the bombs. So um, that would have been uh, Wednesday night? It, or Thursday night? Thursday night. Thursday night. Right. So she made a phone call after Thursday night after she saw the video to we all Tamerlan, saw. And according to the people I've talked to who are familiar with the investigation, basically gave them a heads up. Said, they're looking for you. She wasn't surprised. She didn't call him and say, I can't believe you were a part of this. She called and said, they're looking for you. She didn't say, turn yourself in or you're in trouble, or what did you do? Apparently not. According to the, to the interrogation of Jahar Sarnayev, she called and basically gave him a heads up, said they are now looking for you. And it's, and it's the thing that I think investigators believe triggered a, a whole series of events that started with uh, the killing of the MIT officer and then the robbing of the convenience store and, and the high-speed chase and all of it. I take it they have her cell phone records and, uh, and they have the records of Tamerlan. They do. Um, and that those corroborate and confirm the phone call? I don't know that, actually. Not yet. Um, if, uh, does she have any, is there any other sort of reason to have suspicion of her? Um, I'm not sure at this point that authorities have anything other than what they've gotten from Jahar Sarnayev. Uh, certainly from the very beginning of the investigation, there was a lot of questions about her. If Tamerlan went back and, and lived with her, spent time with her in the days after the attack, could, is it possible that she really didn't know what he had been up to? Uh, well, I think there are real questions. Of, uh, I mean, I guess if, if they're living together, I don't know if she's living at her home with her parents or living with him someplace in the Boston area, but you know, I imagine they have a small apartment and she'd see uh, six, well, they had six or whatever it was, six pressure cookers coming into the house. Right. Well, the, the defense that, that her lawyer has provided and that, that people arguing on her behalf have provided say that she's a home health care provider. She works 70, 80 hours a week. She wasn't in the, in the apartment at many of the times that he was in the apartment and therefore wouldn't be in a position to know that. I would say just as an outsider. I find that hard to believe. I, I, there, a, there was an ABC tweet that she had a shoplifting charge from 2007, not a big amount of money, and that it was dismissed that she did community service and then her, her record was expunged. Um, you know, it's just notable. I don't, that doesn't necessarily make her a terrorist or anything, but uh, she, you know, she's got a little bit of explaining there. Well, they're certainly looking more carefully, I think, both at her, what she did in the immediate aftermath of the bombing, what she did before the bombing, and going back and looking at her, I think, more deeply uh, on every level. She has denied knowing anything. Thing. She's denied through a lawyer knowing anything and says that she wants to help the investigation. Is she, she wants to help it. Is she cooperating? Uh, I don't know that. Is she talking to them? I mean, is she, has she been at the FBI's office or anything? That. Don't know that? I don't know. Um, well, she's uh, obviously going to have a lot of explaining together. I don't know if, uh, if for the if we're going to hear from her very soon. Well, the fact, I think the fact that she was, in effect, fingered by her brother-in-law. I mean, he's, the one, he's, he's the one who said, yeah, Tamerlan got a call from his wife saying that, they, that we were being watched, that the FBI knew. Uh, I think certainly authorities are very interested in that phone call and what it might mean about her knowledge of, uh, of the, the bombings.